Welcome to the dog days of summer. It's hot, the days are long, and drinks on patios and being outside in general become a common ritual. From rooftop bars to ice cream parlors to sporting events, Denver has it all. Here are some of our favorite things to do when we're at home. Hey there, welcome to Looney Light. I'm Lauda, and this is Matt. We're just a couple of ordinary people trying to get as much as we can out of the life we've been given. You only get one, and it's all about the experiences you have and the people you meet along the way. Come along as we explore the world near and far. Golden City Brewery is known as the second largest brewery in Golden, at least it was until the microbrewery scene exploded. It was second only to Coors, which is most certainly not a microbrewery. It's located in a little house and the backyard is a seating area. There are umbrellas for hot sunny days and fire tables for chilly evenings. All in all, a great place to hang out that's super low key. Denver Beer Company is probably our favorite brewery in Denver itself. It's an easy walk and an even easier bike ride from our house, has a great patio and a great vibe. The beer is really good. Their incredible Petal IPA is one of my favorite local brews and the relaxed atmosphere is super chill. The brewery has won several awards at various competitions like the Great American Beer Festival and it's obvious why. And if you're hungry, they usually have a food truck out front too. When it comes to bars high above the city, there are two that stand out for us. Funny enough, they're both hotel bars. The first one is Peaks Lounge, located on the 27th floor of the Hyatt Regency Denver, easily accessible via elevator from the hotel lobby. If you're fortunate enough that there's no private or special event, you're in for quite a treat. The city is laid out before you, and you can see the mountains in all their glory in the distance. Sunset is a sight to behold, and the glittering lights of the city at night are also spectacular. The drinks are good, and with that view, well, that's the whole reason you go out there. Our other standout rooftop bar is 5430. It's located on the top floor of the Hotel La Meridian. The bar is the highest open air rooftop in the city and the views from up there are absolutely spectacular. There's often a wait to get there, but the lobby of the hotel has its own bar and super comfy seating area, which is not a bad place to wait. It's totally worth it. When they call your name, call the elevator and use a key card to send you up, it sure feels special. If you could be there for sunset, it's even better. The bar features specialty cocktails like the old fashioned I'm drinking, as well as beer and wine. Sitting up there, I don't know which way the view is better, towards the mountains or towards the city. The Colorado Rapids play at Dick's Sporting Goods Field out in Commerce City, about 20 minutes outside of Denver. There's usually a fan-sponsored tailgate where for 12 bucks you can get all the hot dogs and hamburgers you want and they have tons of beer for the drinking. The park itself is small and intimate and there's really no bad seat in the house. It's even more fun when the Rapids win. And occasionally, they'll have a special post-game show, fireworks on the 4th of July, etc. This particular night, they had a drone show, which we'd never seen before. It was pretty cool. The Colorado Rockies play at Coors Field in downtown Denver and can be a super cheap, fun activity during the season. Get there a bit early, and after grabbing your $4 tickets up in the rock pile, start at the rooftop bar, where they sell $3 Coors before the first pitch. And they encourage you to buy two at a time. Wander around the stadium, taking in the game from various viewpoints, and eventually head up to find your seats. After hanging out for an inning or three, head back downstairs to the Sandlot Brewery, where they serve beers brewed on site that are not sold anywhere else. There's nothing quite like nice cold ice cream in a waffle cone on a hot summer day. And when it comes to this, there's no better place than Licks. They're open year round, but stay open until 10 p.m. in the summer, so you can wait until it cools off a little if you're so inclined. We can walk there from home and they make their own waffle cones on site so you can smell them from a few blocks away. The scent is intoxicating. And they have so many flavors of ice cream from fresh and fruity ones like raspberry lemonade to super desserty ones like salted caramel and apple pie to good old standbys like vanilla, chocolate, and coffee. They pretty much have it all. And bonus, they have a lovely patio area with picnic tables and umbrellas for you to enjoy your ice cream. And finally, when it's hot as hell outside and we just wanna sit and chill, not at home, we like to go to one of the nearby state park beaches. Cherry Creek is our favorite, close to home and with plenty of shade. Hope you've enjoyed our ideas of things to do during the summer in Denver. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching!